Hello and welcome everybody! This is your host, Leerbach, and you're just in time for more of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. In the last episode, we started on Hades in the le in getting through Ms. Ruby's lair. In this episode, we're going to start off in the lair of the this industrial strike voodoo gate? Ms. Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in. Ooh, creepy. So yeah. Uh, seeing that Ms. Ruby might be trying to keep something in? But we don't know what that is. If that's even... I mean, it's really, if we're being honest, it feels like Sly should have said keep something out and Vin and uh, Vin should, should have said or keep something in. Like, Vin would have been the one who the more cautious type. Right? Like, anyway, um. We got these creaking tree branches we're gonna be jumping from. This is actually a pretty fun part. Yeah, I always I don't know why, but I always I always love the the climbing through like the swing along the tree top sort of thing. I'm not gonna lie, it's one of the things that made Naruto interesting before Naruto started doing it. Not a thing. Whoa! Did you see those reeds move? There's Ooh, something did. huge under there! Right behind you. You better get going! Uh oh. And of course we have a. Uh, yeah, of course this key that out. I don't know why it took me that long to realize those mosquitoes. I am not smart. What's that? What's the what's the word for that? Not you know, someone who's not smart. Uh, not to be engine and um. Uh, ah, oh, so uh, oh, mm, so it's in my tongue. Uh, Mm, mm, um, I don't know, I'll try. There's a bad joke. There's a, there's a good joke in there if you can work it out right. Uh, okay. Okay. Go. I really do not like getting the. Uh, the blue bottle on the on the on the it's just annoying. Oh, that's a giant snake. Oh. And we ended up missing to the blue bottle because of it. Oh, and then the last two we needed. You know what? I actually almost prefer dying at this point. Because then I can get the last two clues all on the list. And that four camera perspective like that is not fun. I 
don't care. That was worth it. I had the lives. And even if I didn't, it's okay. It saves it anyway. Oh, I had I had the lives, and I don't have a life, so that's uh. Well, that anything else get in the way? Unfortunately, they only have like what, what three bottles in this area, so you don't really have to worry about keeping. Like, you don't have to worry about that. And if you're playing a game like normal, or like normal, like a lot of kids did back then, you probably have a, a, a huge surplus of lives, because much like with any other, any other game at this time, and much like with many games today, uh, if the game does have a life system, it resets after you turn the console off. Or at least turn the game off. I just love how short that section was. <laughs> it's like, how this anti-climactic was. Did I forget the- oh no. Oh, <laughs> we got to get the thing. The safe. Oh, can I? Uh... No. Uh... Uh, real quick, let me. Okay, writing that down real quick so I don't forget to get it. Um, let's, I got all the keys we need right now, so let's uh, figure out where we need to take them. Here maybe? That's a voo, like a voo portal thing. Okay. I feel like we should put it here. Oh, maybe here? Oh yeah, because I see the keys now. Quite fortuitous that we just layer the beast last. Excuse <coughs> me. Oh, that's a, that's a way to get to that gate. <laughs> it just goes right back into its lair. Okay. So. Looks like this is some kind of giant voodoo egg beater to stir up that unsanitary mess. If I can unlock the cauldron's lid, I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby Skull Temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks, so that the guards won't see you. That's a good idea, actually. And we're definitely going to need that. To get to our next destination. And let me see what we have here. The next two missions, down home cooking, descent into danger, and a gassy boy. Oh boy. Let's do it for you. We'll do that one. We'll do that one last. We'll do the actual level ones last. We'll do the ones that are like this. Oh, great, another jet ski one. Uh, what was this? Hmm. That vehicle seems to be outfitted with some sort of high-energy cannon. Use the left analog stick to move, and aim the right analog stick in the direction you want to shoot. Remember, you can always shoot in one direction while moving in another. Yeah, we got kind of a weird twin stick concept here. Like, you know, not over the shoulder. So, yeah, you're not going to go behind all of us. This one's not too bad. Um, but it's an interesting concept. It's kind of like a first person shooter in a way. Or a third person shooter, I guess. I mean, yeah, that's technically what it is. Um, but it's kind of like 
I mean, there's any chance, there's any level to get a game over on if you want to just, that doesn't have checkpoints. So, I mean, it's better to get a game over on that stage than it is to. One thing I don't like about this is how long it takes to destroy these things. It's the, the, web, the weak weapon itself. Um, that's just how it gate things up so you. Yeah. That it takes a while to get to them. Then the limited the rain, or then the limited rain, or whatever. It's got some sort of rain on it. Oh, decent amount. I guess it's got a decent amount. Or I just grew up in. Okay, so a big problem with the ghosts, especially in this one, is how fast they move around. Like, you just easily get overwhelmed by them. Like I said, I know it's like, only like three they fire at they fire at you at once, but still. You can't deal with the two tubes, though, that's six ghosts. Easy to get, like I said, easy to get overwhelmed by just three of them. And they don't go away once you destroy the two. You still have to fight them. The unfortunate thing is y'all die in one head, so I mean, it's, you know, I think it goes bad. I thought that grass was still growing in the swamp. This is where things get really This is the part that like, really kind of irks me 
figure out how to move you all this stuff because like it takes so long to put a barricade. It's so frustrating, especially with these flame spell tunnels. Of course. I'm not gonna lie, even if they're still not so different to each other like what it is. Is 
just said the roof is top each other. Oh, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good! That's not too bad once we get used to the pattern where the roof is. There's a good one. Blow each other! Will they seriously go in faster than me? Yeah, see, they go just slightly faster than me. What the heck? You can't tell when they're, com when they're coming. And again, a good place to get a game over during a mission that, you know, you have no checkpoint. There's no way to kind of, kind of guide the rooster. Get away! Jeez! No, you can't ignore them! You have to leave them together. They don't... They aren't to you, which... Not fun! Are you kidding me?! At least I got a... The horse for now. I love when games do that, and then it's kind of makes things a little easier for you to die a few times. It shows the, it shows the game creators aren't completely total monsters. They're just mostly monsters. What was their excuse this time? Oh, we didn't want kids to... We didn't want people to just rent the game and beat it over the weekend. Yeah, guess what? I got this game for my, for my birthday and I beat it over the weekend! <laughs> Clearly, that didn't stop me back when I was a kid! I'm gonna give it away to a friend one of the biggest regrets I've ever made in my life. I did rent the other game, the yeah, Gamefly. Uh, anyone else remember when that was a thing? I don't know, I think it still is. It doesn't make sense to be game flying though. Get away, get away, get away! Pop it there, we're gonna fly away, pop it there. 12 seconds to go. Uh, oh, oh, yes, okay! You know, the chicken fluffed off for all I care. Let's try to think of a good pun. A good bird pun. Fly, like, fly the coop. I think the chickens don't fly, so I think it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. That's not gonna work. On here, so I can get the side of the group. Got one last level to do before the boss, and oh boy, the boss can be fun to do. Especially now, nine thirty-eight at night, when my brain is starting to get tired. Going to come down big time on this dump. Yeah, I think there's a lot more that there's a lot more we should be worrying about than the health department going down with that. Uh, I don't even think I'll get up there without thinking. Oh, I think. Oh, no, wait. I think come back here later. Yeah. Yeah, so we're not going to worry about that. Up. 
Yeah, we can go up that way. Or I can just, you know, ground to the jump or anything. No, no. This is like not turning into a good episode, is it? I've just been very negative on this whole thing, haven't I? This whole time. Well, not, not entirely. I mean, there are a few things I, I get off the deal with, but. That has been. not in a good mood here. I guess, I guess that's the thing. I guess, I guess it fits the swamp. Dark and blue, so I'm kind of going dark and blue myself. I'm going edgy. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think we made that jump, can we? Well, you never know if you don't try. And we never try, we never, never know if you don't fly. Never know if you don't try. Never know if you don't try. Hey, now you're a rock star. Did you get one? Get paid. Go. Uh. You know, all stars, Smash Mouth, Reference, etc., etc. I was a 90s kid, could you tell? <laughs> I'm just the right amount of cynical and jaded. And also, like, you know, mean. Not like memes about Smash Mouth and Shrek. I got rid of that. Yeah, I feel like they're going to shield again. I saw the camera and I'm like, yeah, it's probably pop it. Looks like we're not. Yeah, it looks like we're not. Really not. Hmm. There we are. The more interesting thing about the level design for the first supply game, how they're in like, put everything into the small. Stage. There's a whole lot of climbing and or just top and bottom is really interesting. Like the level is definitely like, this is definitely not a game you could have made in 2D, right? Like it had to be a 3D game because the level design in general makes any other concept impossible. Ruby had to say. Somehow bring us back as zombies for the turtle show or two or something. I don't know. Clearly not that important. I mean, I'm already working a menial job for a minimum pay. So I'm not like doing a tedious, obnoxious task day in, day out, non stop. That's so basically like, you know, being a zombie. And 
uh, I'm making so little money, I might as well be an eternal servant, dude. I'm not gonna be able to retire when I want to, because hey, you know what, our economy's effed up, and you know what, it doesn't matter even if you want to retire or not, because medical bills are gonna get ya. You're never gonna be able to afford all the medical bills here. And I'm certain to a lot of foreigners watching this, you know, all four of you that YouTube goop the. Uh, Google, you, Google's YouTube algorithm you recommend, because uh, Google's algorithm is trash fire. Anyway, let's, get, let's focus on one complaint at a time. Um, but I'm sure for all you people who uh, live in other countries, uh, or at least the most first world countries that I know of, you're probably wondering what the whole deal with the medical medical bills I'm talking about. Here in America, here in the States at least, we are a very capitalistic society with cutthroat capitalism. Um, which basically means the government doesn't care about the people. Um, and that's, that's slowly changing if we're going to put a little bit of optimism in here. Kind of, kind of stay on brand at least. Put a little bit of optimism here. The government is uh, slowly changing as uh, as the political party slowly starts to shift. Very slowly, um, there's more and more people getting into places who are trying at least to do good. You know, uh, one name that pops in mind is Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Um, and people may know her mostly from uh, Eight Bomber Guy Scream. That's definitely where I found out about who she was and what she was trying to accomplish. And hopefully, you know, hopefully she gets there. She's apparently making some names in the political circle. circle. Um, so let's hope she, uh, let's hope like, I mean, she has one of the biggest, uh, she has, well, she has well, just as much chance as anyone else, I, I imagine. But, uh, that aside, like, it, like the current government doesn't really care about us. Uh, the weird thing is, the really weird thing about, this, uh, about American, the American government is it's, it's a, dem so, everyone probably knows it's democracy, so, like, you know, the people vote. Except we don't really vote for a president or for a political leader. We vote for a party to uh, representatives to vote for us, which is really weird. It doesn't make any real sense. Like why? It's like why not go person to person? It's just one vote for one person is one vote for the politician, as opposed to. One vote is actually one of these representatives that's going to vote for you because of how the Democrat, uh, the, 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 the Electoral College works. Which the Electoral College is only really put into place to appease slave states at the time. Um, you know, states that, that had slavery, that, that heavily support slavery, and like. It wasn't even good then. So why are we keep oh I know why we're keeping it, because it's, again it's self interested political crap. It's part of the reason why we can't seem to get any good people into politics right now and it's all just nothing but bad people because well only the bad people will run. I'm gonna get this next checkpoint for uh, ah! Really? Oh, I didn't lose that yet. That is such a Look at all the security. This must be the source of all the disgusting green soup. Down right now. 
Don't remember which button there you go. Don't ever use it. Wow, you know, you know, I don't use this very right often. likes long videos, right? The freaking out. Oh, hail the algorithm and all its pathetic glory. 